Yeah, hello and welcome to this quick tutorial where I want to show you how to install BeatEdit for Premiere Pro on Windows. So I have here the download file that you get from the website and the first thing you need to do is to unzip it. So I right click on it and say extract all. So I'm sorry for the German user interface here. Uh, extract all, choose the folder where you want to extract it and now it unzips. In the resulting folder you have the ZXP installer setup and different ZXP files, which are each of them is essentially one version of the plugin for one specific version of Premiere Pro. So this is the thing that makes it a little bit more complicated that you have different versions for different um, versions of Premiere Pro. But now the first thing you need to do is to install the AE Scripts ZXP installer using this exe file here in case you haven't installed it yet. So I just double click it and now it asks me whether this ZXP installer from updates at ascripts.com should actually be installed and I say yes, please install it. Now it's downloading the actual installer and installing it. Now it already opens the ZXP installer for me um, and now I can close it again. Now once the ZXP installer is installed, all you need to install one of these ZXP files is double clicking it. So I know that I have After Effects CC 2015.0 here. This one is for 2015.1. So this is for the very new uh, autumn release of 2015. And this is for the old one and also for the CC 2014 release. So I just double click this one. And now it opens the AE Scripts uh, ZXP installer and install speed edit and you can see that it's installed, shown as installed here. You can also remove uh, the plugin, uninstall it again here, here by launching the AE Scripts ZXP installer and then clicking this remove button to, to remove it again. Um, but for now, let's just quickly explain you also how to figure out which ZXP you need. So which version of Premiere Pro you're actually running. Let me start Premiere Pro for you. And inside of Premiere Pro, if you go to the help menu and choose here about Premiere Pro, you see this number is really what matters. 2015.0 is the release I have here. So, and again, this ZXP is for 2014 and for the 2015.0 release, whereas this one is only for 2015.1. So if you have a one here, install this variant instead. If you have several versions of Premiere Pro that you're using simultaneously, it's also no problem to install all of these ZXPs here in parallel. Okay, another thing to make sure is um, if you looked up the version number here before actually installing the ZXP, make sure to close the Premiere Pro application and restart it after you installed the ZXP. Once you have installed it, you find BeatEdit under Window extensions, beat edit.